Our Composer Pro series of lenses bring magic and surprise to your photography. These lenses let you use focus and blur to create bold new imagery. In the world of autofocus and clicking without thinking, we believe photography should be more of a dance. Our lenses connect you to the movement of the moment and allow you to slow down and enjoy that dance. Our Composer Pro lens series features our optic swap system. Once you buy a lens, you can swap out the installed optic for a different one. Experiment with different styles of focus and blur at different focal lengths. Today, I'll teach you how to create bold, daring photographs using the Composer Pro with Edge 50 and Edge 80 optics. The Edge 50 and Edge 80 optics come already installed in a Composer Pro lens or as a separate optic if you already own a Composer Pro. These optics give you a slice of focus surrounded by blur at 50 or 80 millimeters. Place the slice of focus anywhere in the image by tilting and adjusting focus. Direct the viewer's eye to what you want them to see. When you tilt our edge optics, the lens is no longer parallel to the camera sensor. This means you can have different things in focus that are on different planes of focus at the same time. Use it to isolate a single aspect or bring both foreground and background into sharp focus. It's magic and physics. If you haven't already set up your camera to shoot with the LensBaby lens, go back and watch our Introduction to LensBaby video. All of our lenses are all manual and the Introduction video will get you off to a good start. Change the aperture to control the amount of effect when shooting with any LensBaby lens. You control the aperture by rotating a dial on the optic, not in the camera. At a wide open, bright aperture like f2.8 or 4, you'll have a thin slice of focus and lots of dreamy blur and bokeh surrounding it. At darker apertures, the width of the slice grows and much more of your image will be in focus. Either way, your images are going to look like nothing else you've ever shot. Start with your aperture set to f4 or 5.6. You should be able to see the slice of focus pretty easily at these settings. Try tilting the lens a small amount in any direction and slowly rotate focus each time you tilt. Watch how the slice of focus moves through the frame. Tilting up or down creates a horizontal slice of focus. Tilting left and right, a vertical slice, and tilting diagonally produces a diagonal slice. Just remember, this slice is passing through several focal planes so it may disappear and reappear through the frame. Set aside some time to tilt, rotate focus, and watch the magic happen through the lens. You'll start to become more familiar with how to control that slice. Want to get closer to your subject? Both Edge 80 and Edge 50 optics have a built-in close focus feature. Just pull on the front of the optic. Remember to pop it back in when you want to focus on something further away. Some tips to keep in mind as you're learning to shoot with an Edge optic. Try bracketing your focus. Take a shot when it looks sharp, then rotate the focus ring a tiny bit back and forth and take a few more shots. Even the most practiced lens baby photographer misses focus sometimes. Odds are at least one of those shots will be in focus. Use live view to help you find your focus. Just zoom into the center of your slice of focus, adjust your focus, and shoot. Wish you could take a few normal shots without having to change your lens? No problem. Just point the lens straight ahead and it transforms into a sharp prime lens. So it's like having two lenses in one. Our edge optics will help you add depth and intrigue to portraits, miniature shots, flowers, landscapes, fine art photography, and more. Once you start shooting with these lenses, you'll never see the world the same again. Change your photography forever and proclaim your unique visual voice with these one-of-a-kind selective focus lenses. 